Hello and welcome back everyone, today we will look back at the 1971 American movie Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. We will revisit the cast of the movie and will find out what happened to them. I will also tell you some interesting trivia facts about the show which you probably did not know, so let's jump right into it. Rex Harrison was a renowned English actor known for his exceptional performances on both stage and screen. He gained critical acclaim for his roles in Pygmalion and My Fair Lady, and won an Academy Award for Best Actor. Despite personal struggles, Harrison remained a beloved figure in the entertainment industry until his death in 1990. His legacy continues to inspire actors and audiences alike. Theodore Bickel was an Austrian-American actor, folk singer, and activist. He is best known for his portrayal of Tevi in Fiddler on the Roof. Bickel was also an accomplished musician and recorded several albums. He was a vocal advocate for civil rights and refugee rights. Bickel passed away in 2015, but his legacy lives on. Upon learning that her voice wasn't strong enough and she would be dubbed, Audrey Hepburn left. However, she returned the next day and apologized for her behavior in a graceful manner. This showcases her humility and kindness. Gladys Cooper was a respected British actress known for her regal presence on stage and screen. She appeared in over 70 films and was a talented stage actress. Cooper was also a painter and exhibited her artwork at the Royal Academy of Arts. She received numerous awards and honors during her career, including a Tony Award and a Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire. Despite passing away in 1971, Gladys Cooper's legacy lives on as an inspiration to aspiring actors and actresses around the world. Mona Washburn, the British actress, had a career spanning over six decades on stage and screen. Her versatile performances in films like My Fair Lady and Billy Liar and TV shows like The Sweeney and Bless Me, Father earned her a BAFTA Award for Best Supporting Actress. Washbourne's work ethic and authenticity made her one of Britain's most beloved actresses. She passed away in 1988, leaving behind a legacy of exceptional performances. In retrospect, Audrey Hepburn revealed that she would have declined the part of Eliza Doolittle had she been aware that producer Jack L. Warner planned to replace almost all of her singing. Consequently, after this film, she vowed to avoid any musical projects unless she could sing unassisted. Audrey Hepburn was a British actress known for iconic roles in classic films such as Roman Holiday and Breakfast at Tiffany's. She won an Academy Award and was a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador. Hepburn's grace, elegance, and style have made her an icon in entertainment and fashion, while her dedication to helping others inspires us all. Wilfred Hydewhite was a successful actor on stage, screen, and television. He appeared in popular films and TV shows, using his distinctive voice and talent for comedy to great effect. Despite his success, he remained humble and dedicated to his craft. Hyde White passed away in 1991, but his legacy as a beloved character actor lives on. In the movie where Sir Rex Harrison sang I've Grown Accustomed to Her Face, the actor revealed that he was actually thinking about his late wife Kay Kendall, who used to watch him perform the same song during their time together. This revelation came from Alexander Walker, one of Harrison's biographers. Kendall had passed away a few years before from leukemia, making the song particularly poignant for the actor. Stanley Holloway was a British actor and singer known for his roles in films like My Fair Lady. He started as a comedian and music hall performer, appearing in over 80 films. He died in 1982 at 91. Despite his success, he remained humble and beloved by audiences and fellow actors. Jeremy Brett was an acclaimed English actor known for his portrayal of Sherlock Holmes in the Granada television series. Brett brought a level of intensity and complexity to the role that had rarely been seen before. He passed away in 1995, but his legacy lives on through his incredible body of work. 
During his Academy Award acceptance speech for the movie, Sir Rex Harrison paid tribute to his two fair ladies, Audrey Hepburn and Dame Julie Andrews. Both actresses had portrayed Eliza Doolittle alongside him. This highlights their exceptional performances and the bond they shared while working on the movie.